Boy, that melodies, melodies soothe my heart. Anyway, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion, ladies and gentlemen. It soothed your heart and scared you shitless. And you know what? All that wonderful music worked up an appetite. How about we head into the lunchroom? Okie dokie. Stop laughing, I can be hungry. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Stop laughing, I can be hungry too. <laughs> Seriously, suck it up. I would... Wow. <laughs> and I know, I know you're all hungry for me, but cool it. I wish the hallway ghost would give you something for having to suck them up every time. Well, they, get, they oh. mostly give out hearts. Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh! Wow. At least you just well, lose one won't... coin. Yeah. yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> Sorry, Ali. <laughs> Who would be disgusting enough to leave there? Oh, dear. Oh. It looked better in the original. It looked more appetizing. The remake did not do him any favors. It's funny, because in the, in, the, in the original game, I always thought he was just munching on, like, a big hunk of cheese. No, this is just a straight-up casserole. I thought it was like cheese or flan. I thought it was cornbread. Or maybe it was quiche. And I also could have sworn he looked redder. Yeah, he did. Oh, ooh. oh. Wait, even the hey, castle disappears. Wait, yeah, how are you gonna. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got the entire game. No, no one can see me in the store. Oh, you go ahead, you go ahead. No one, no one, no one. <laughs> also, yeah, how are we gonna be able to get. How are we gonna be able to see him and get rid of that ghostly casserole? Well, how are we gonna fit him in the polar geist? Uh, it looks well, like a rice curry, maybe. Yeah, she does well, look like fried let's rice. Light up the candles. Oh there yeah, it does go. look like fried now rice. Him. It does. So we. Also, I I, I'm when... so sorry. You know what I just thought of? What? I don't want to be fat anymore. Oh, that's right. Also, was with this game. I just, I, it, it, I realized. Wait, this guy has a nose. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, yeah. So we suck up the food, and we gotta get rid of these waiters who keep bringing the food. Get back hey. here. No. I always have, I, I swear, I've always had an easier time getting these things in the original, though I feel like that's mostly because of the original class. Yeah. Don't yeah. bring the food. Okay. Uh, Don't you uh, disappear on me. I have a complaint. Okay. Actually, I was about to say, I Go think ahead. just thinking back to, like, I mean, I personally don't mind the straw bulbs inclusion. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, like, it's the just game was built around it. Yeah, I was about to say, because it's like, whereas with Dark Moon, it was fine because, you know, it was built with the straw bulb in mind. This game wasn't. No, oh, you really want to. Nice. Neat party trick. Like, this is a game that really rewards fast reflexes, and you don't, and you kind of lose half of that when you're dealing with the straw bulb. Anyway, yeah. let's, suck, let's suck up all that the ghoul lot. It looked like you sucked something else. Also, wow, I see what you did there, James. Doesn't that take a lot shorter, usually? Oh, the way to go. It's because I'm sucking in the wrong direction. Oh. Yeah. oh. There it goes. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a little finicky in that part. Hey, hey, you took my only food. Now oh, I'm gonna yes. burn you alive. Talk about an acid reflux. Is that heartburn? Uh, heartburn or acid reflux. Oh, jeez. I guess it's heartburn if he's breathing fire. Burn! Anyway, uh, this guy this guy can take a while with his fire breath, which can be a little annoying. If I remember yeah. from his description correctly, he ate himself to death. Yeah? Yeah. Dang. I can see that. Went full on seven. That's disturbing. We need a way for him to tire himself out, though. Although, it, it's kind of inconsistent. They're, are they getting faster? Uh, he, he, there we go. There now go. we suck him up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I will say this much. During my earlier playthroughs, Mr. Lugs was easily one of the hardest ghosts to really suck up. Until I yeah. learned there's actually a certain strategy when it comes oh. to sucking these kinds of, like, the stronger ghosts up. Don't fidget your control stick too much. Like, stick to one particular direction, and more often than not, you'll actually be able to stick, you'll be able to actually keep your grip. Gotcha. Which is something, which is, which I will admit kind of makes, can, can sort of make these things a little longer, because, well... Normally, wiggling is what what blittles their health harder. But when it comes to the heart, like the bigger ghosts, they're gonna struggle harder anyway. So it's not gonna make much of a difference. So just hold in one direction, you're good to go. What makes him tricky is the dang dining room ah, table, which the dining room table can have can not only keep you trapped in with the uh, poison mushrooms, but he's delicious. Got it. But oh. also, but also, if he goes on the other side of the dining room table, you can get stuck on the dining room table and lose your vacuum grip. Yeah, that, yeah. Can, that could really suck. But again, mm. it's it's when I learned it's when when I realized this tactic was a thing that I realized, wow, I I, I made this. <laughs> I'm the one that made it harder than it needed to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yay me! I learned another neat strat that makes makes me a better player. 
And, and also, you don't even oh. have to—you don't even have to deal with Mr. Loves. You can actually go straight to the kitchen if you wanted to. He's optional. Yeah, I was about to say that's the thing we kind of didn't touch upon. All these portrait ghosts, a handful of them are technically optional, including the, the fat so we just sucked up, as well as a little girl that we'll see a little later. As I said before, if there's a green tre treasure that pops up, that means that whatever you just dealt with was optional. Gotcha. Makes sense. Oh. Again, the table looks kind of weird. We looked at the I, but, I was, but I was examining the plate. I think it looks weird too. Okay, yeah, yeah. he's support, only he's only like, seeing the ca <laughs> the candle. It's Man. it's it's like the whole thing with cows. Only instead, it's mm. with candles. It's at a cow. Oh, no, that's it, a table, it's Luigi. A cow. It's a cow. How did that even? I I mean, I know how it came about. I I know it was from Charles Martin himself. But how did he come up with that joke? He, he just, just he just he improvises. Yeah, I I feel like he probably just stumbled his words and then just ran with it. No no no. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if we mentioned to everyone what. Uh, so Logan, Ellie, and I went to Sack Anime to personally ask him why he stopped doing. Oh, one was cooking. Oh, oh boy. This is the spirit. Right, and then what did he say again, Sealy? It's delicious. Uh, he, he said something about Nintendo. Uh, Ellie, do you remember? I, I can't. Nintendo weren't happy with him literally portraying their characters without their permission. Yeah. So they just asked him yeah. to take it down. No, 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 no. no. They, no they're they, not they, taken they, down. They just asked him to stop doing it. Yeah, to stop Still. making new ones. They knew that if they had him take it down entirely, people would raise a fuss. Oh, wow. yeah, it, it wouldn't look it wouldn't look good for them. Yeah, yeah so it wouldn't. Which, so, which is which is completely fair. I mean, just, no, but, yeah, it, it is a shame, but at the same time, I can sort of understand where they're coming from. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Charles Martinet, he he's he, he he's he's good at improvisation. So. Yeah, the whole it's a cow thing. He just made it up on the fly. He didn't stumble it's his words. Just, the, just he made Luigi so innocent. It's I so know. Weird. What I another thing that I love is well, yeah, the abrupt way to bulldog. Okay, bulldog. that's uh, that's that I believe is actually a, a name change. Uh, bulldog is an exclusive to the 3DS version. I forget oh. what it was uh, what he was named in the original. I don't know. Huh? I can't, yeah, I can't you know remember. What? Let me let me look that up. Go for it. Well, while you look that up, I just remember just going back to Mornay, another funny ad lib that he did that I thought was funny is, I don't know what convention he was at, but he was reading this old Mario storybook to his, to like the convention goers. Oh yeah! And there was a point where he goes, Wait, I'm sorry, everything... I spaced out. What'd you say, Steve? There's, at some random convention, Charles Mornay was reading this Mario, st Mario storybook, and there was a point where, like, near the end, he goes, Well, everything will be better after all. I do <laughs> think that, everybody. I remember that. Like, <laughs> guys, I think this is going to work out. Okay, so two things in succession. First of all, uh, the bull we just captured in the original game was actually named Booligan. For this game, he was renamed to Bulldog, for whatever huh. reason. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Why was he renamed? No clue. Piece the hell out of me. Anyway, secondly, we just got our second elemental medal, which now gives us a, a straight uh, the most elaborate nerf gun. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to make sure everybody was tuning in. Now, I was going to say uh, that <laughs> I, was, I, I was trying to think of a way to make this into a joke about, like, yeah, now he has his own flood. It's not yeah. flood. Actually, <laughs> it's discount there's, flood. <laughs> yeah. There's that, and I was also going to continue off of Jens' oh. joke about it's naff or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> well, doesn't reason? doesn't nerf they they produce like air airsoft toy guns, not water pistols, right? I, I think they did water guns. I think they do both. Well, uh, I thought you were thinking of super soakers. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <And Mars laughs> Welcome everybody to Egypt. That that was a right. You are, you went and did that? that. That threw me off guard. I tab I switched tabs for like a second, and then I was like, "Wait, what's that?" I almost forgot that. Yeah, now that I have the water elemental, I should start watering the plants because that's where oh, other yeah. gems appear. And you get. I never knew this, and I didn't know this. If you water any plant, you get moolah. Nice. Plants. That's a green thumb to match a green Luigi. That makes total sense. And and Toad's just looking at you like, wow. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Have it to me. And no, water, spray the water on Toad doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, well. No thanks, I'm not thirsty. No thanks, I'm not thirsty. <laughs> Drink it. Oh, why is it that for some reason I just suddenly... Why is Ooh. it that for some reason I just suddenly imagine I spray water at him and suddenly he melts? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Actually, what a world! What a like, world! Actually, you do that, and it's like instead he just... Well, Luigi sprays the water on him, but Toad just looks unfazed while the water is being sprayed on him, and he just goes, We are not amused. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's we? You know. We as in the collective sense. 
Yeah. He said, and he he said, on that he, day that Luigi realized that the toes were all, all work under a hive mind. I was going to say, if not, <laughs> that, if not that, he was saying, we are not amused. Who's we? Toad lifts up his hat to reveal like seven miniature toads all underneath oh, on his head. <laughs> and just, he does that and just all the toads in unison go, We are legion, for we are many. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, by the way, I do appreciate that for the 3DS version, they don't make you wait for the uh, for the smoke to clear in order to get through. Thank goodness. Woof, woof, woof. Barf, barf, oh. woof, woof, woof. So, yeah, now we got Sparky the dog. What's or Spooky. Late night? Spooky. Yeah, nice. Mr. Mr. Bones. Bones. Quiet! Oh, 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 I just want to say real quick, fun fact about this music, I can play half of this on harp. Oh, that's cool. Only okay, half of it. That's a bad. Like the first part, I guess. I guess when yeah, the gets... first part. But I just want to say, I did talk. To, I talked to my heart teacher about it, and he said the first part. The first part can be played, but after it goes da 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 da, da that can't be physically played on harp. Huh. Huh. That sucks. To curse you, synthesizers. Yep. Putting musicians out of business. Anyway, don't mind as I water that plant and water uh -oh. the dog, and he's clearly not happy about me giving him a bath. So now we're just yeah. gonna lead him around until he makes enough noise barking at us. And he wakes up Papyrus. <laughs> oh, I guess <laughs> I got a voice. Bones. I guess I got a voice. Nah, now nah, I'll, I'll, say, I'll save you the love. Eh? For the love of dirt, make the yappy dog be quiet! I just say that because I remember. Oh no, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, and then he drops a bone. And he looks happy. <laughs> That's cool. Now die. Yeah, you're. Yeah. Actually, what I had in mind is like, I. Ah, uh, you're heavy. Actually, what I had in mind is like, ah, uh, that's cute. Oh, no, 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 you shrink. You are so close. Get yet. Wait, listen closely. <laughs> so squeaky. <laughs> that's all I can do while I'm sucked while I'm shrunk. And it sucks. Yeah, for some reason you can't use the Pelter Gust at all. Anyway, back to you, Hype. Yeah, it was because of that little fumble, I lost my chance at a gold oh, well. with that dog. Oh, yeah, just, just, just going back to what I was saying, it's like, I get the image of, like, Luigi's like, isn't that cute? Am I vacuuming it up? But it's wrong! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually really cool. That actually would have been from Melody, maybe. I one of the two, anyway. There it is. Oh. I guess you can't just plan for this sort of thing. Oh, and no, no, of course that's not. That's dark. Here yeah. lies the. Here lies the. Oh, oh boy. Geez. Oh, there's more than one Mr. Bones. Hello, human. We are the Papyrus Brothers. The Papyrus Brothers. The Papyrus Brothers. <laughs> we are. We are the welcoming committee. Welcoming spaghetti is over to the left. We represent the Skeleton Guild. <laughs> They so won't like dry bones. We are number one. Oh, oh, that's what you're roaming. Yeah. I love the timing of that, Howie. <laughs> there lies the oldest resident of the mansion. Assuming it's a resident of the mansion. Probably the spookiest. The Ooh. Oh, it's going into it? a cutscene. <gasps> yeah, because now we introduce our second boss of the game, Bogmire. Oh. I forgot about him, honestly. Uh, and does he jiggle in this game? Lots of jiggle physics, and he is. Unfortunately, at the cost of Luigi not, not being not being able to open his mouth, because I remember he was that's he actually did open his mouth in that portion. Well, whatever. Oh, oh there yeah. We go. Oh. He was suffered from lockjaw there. <laughs> that's how scared he is. So yeah, this boss kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he really does. Would you say it's any better or worse than this remake? Uh, not that much better here, to be perfectly oh, honest. Oh, man. I would, def I would take uh, Bulasis over Bogmire any day. And I will say, you know what? I'll just say this right now. Bulasis, honestly, in, in, it was this with this playthrough that, uh, honestly, I found an interesting little trick regarding him. But in the meantime, though, yeah, B Bogmire is, still, is kind of a drag because, first of all, you have to suck up one of the shadows and form into a ball. Secondly, you got to launch it at him. And unfortunately, this is a case where peripheral vision is not on my side. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And and again, Seely, we'll cut. We'll, we will cover that later. But jeez, oh, uh, we will cover yeah. this later. Though Seely is that uh, Lost actually changes in this version of the game a little Wait, bit. Wait, he does. Honestly, he doesn't change so. He doesn't exactly change so much. But let's just say it was with this playthrough. I figure I've learned of a very interesting oh. trend. Oh. Ah. Dang it! All right. Yeah, the, the shadows he leaves behind can interrupt your sucking. Yes, yes, they can. And there are so many of them. 
and just it, honestly, it's hard to keep a grip on him for very long. Yes, seriously. I would almost say with how he moves, it almost looks like he was rewarding if you like don't if you like really hold back because he sometimes slows down to make to make you oh. rear end him. Well, not that it means much because again, it's pretty easy for him to break free of your of your grip. He's not easy to get a gold on, is he? Uh, no, he's not. not really, no. <laughs> right, how do you say that? It's possible, it's just that those shadow demons keep getting in the way. Yeah. And again, when it comes to, when it comes to bosses, you don't have to worry about how many times you try to suck them up. It's just a matter of if you can keep your health, and health intact. Okay, right. that's good. And just follow the shadow's direction uh, to try to the, and... To the 3D... Yeah, to the, actually, to the 3DS games, the 3DS version's credit, though, uh, Bogmire is actually a lot easier to spawn. In the original game, he's a little too transparent to uh, really yeah. see effectively. Mm, yeah. <laughs> nice. And there you there go. You go. Good ladies. I was going to say, when I see Bogmire, I think of, uh, for some reason, I think of the uh, the Bouldergeist. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Oh, yeah. With his mouth and hands and <gasps> the clover key. Lucky me, and it's green. <laughs> and it's One thing I will say about Bogmire before we end off is that, honestly, if you look at him compared to other ghosts, he looks not that much different from the usual fodder. Again, I almost feel like he's like a primordial ghost or something. I don't know. He's one of the oldest residents, as I know. Probably. 90s dark. Mm. You know, Luigi that is... Had, not that I could see it. Luigi it really is kind of a, a conductor for lightning in, in more ways than one. And I love this. Literally, even if that lightning had cooked your goose, your Poltergeist 3000 wouldn't have even had a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. You. Thanks. Well, Thank you. I mean, at least the Poltergeist 3000 would have been okay. I feel so sad. <laughs> that just... Now I'm just thinking back to... Well, Logan will get this, because we've been marathoning Spectacular Spy Man recently, like when yeah. they made Sandman, but it turned, they thought he was dead at first. It's like, what have we done? What do we do? We sweep up and try again. <laughs> oh, so many ghosts. Yeah, I inhaled hair into my mouth. Oh, oh. that sucks. I'm, we have to, at this, at, at this point, like, by the time we're done with the commentary, we should just make a drinking game for how many times we say the word suck. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be dead. I... <laughs> you know what? Why not, why not increase the intake? Suck. No, <laughs> stop. Suck. So we have a silver portrait for Bogmeyer. Yeah. And I, and I don't think I've said this already, but in the 3DS version, they actually do something rather interesting with the portraits this time. Uh, the the fur, the le the um, further down you are in your grade, the less finished the portrait looks. I thought that really? was a thing in the original as well. No, I don't think uh, not so. really. In the original the game, the, 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 the portraits were just a little more simplistic, and yeah, the frame was different. Here, it's like, if you get a bronze, for example, it's not even a painting, it's actually a sketch. Hmm. Huh. That's an I interesting that. detail. It is. And then in the library, are you allowed to see... Uh, in the library, I know there's, like, boss replays. Are you allowed to replay normal portrait ghosts to attempt to get better portraits? Yeah, they count. You can replay any uh, uh, portrait ghost that you have captured. Interesting. How does that work? Like, they just spawn you in the room with them and then... Go yeah, back. they spawn you in the room with them. They give you they give you like a well a countdown of like how fast you can clear them, and that's really about it. I think some of the achievements you do have to clear this game if you want to go for all that does involve um, sucking them up within a specific amount of time, which gotcha. for, which more often than not is very easy to make. Okay, they're actually pretty generous in that. But yeah, look at all the moolah we got. Yeah. So oh. And I really I really oh. miss misheard the the cha-ching sound effect in the first part. I really thought it wasn't a cha-ching sound effect because the sound was so low to me. It's okay. Well, that, that and they, that they play a lot faster than they did in the original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that said, folks, we're pretty, we're literally halfway done with the game. Hooray! Ooh, ooh. Wow, already? Yeah, yep. seriously. Again, this game's short if you, when you know what you're doing. But um, oh, yeah. that said, stay tuned for Area 3. <laughs> bye, everybody. See you there, guys. Bye-bye. You knew then, and you did nothing.